boys and girls. So I thought I would read you guys another story since you guys enjoyed the first one so much. Um, so the title of our book today is Beach House. We're kind of sticking with the theme of sand. And um, yeah, so let's just take a minute and look at the cover of the book. Uh, you can see one, two, three kids playing on what looks like maybe the sand or some rocks, right? You see some little starfish around, okay? And you see what looks like a beach house in the background. All right, so um, the title of the book, like I said, is Beach House. The author, um, her name is Deanna Caswell. Remember, the author is someone who writes the words in the story, so they're the ones pretty much telling the story. And the person who illustrated the book is Amy June Bates, okay? And that's the person who draws all the beautiful pictures in the story and help tell the story with their beautiful illustrations, okay? All right, so let's get started. Beach House. Sorry, don't mind the message in the book. This is actually my son's book, I borrowed it. Okay, so, a long, long drive it's been a year of dreaming, waiting. Summer's here. How many of you can't wait for summer? I can't. Love the summer. Miss Yvette's favorite season is the summer and the fall. Okay. Remember, this is the title page. Beach House. Doors fly open, end of the road. To the beach, not yet unload lifting luggage dragging straining ocean calling patience waning empty trunk one last sack hopeful grins not yet unpack the kids look like they really want to go to the beach right waves in view out of reach, wishing for less house, more beach. Clothes hung up, shoes below, magic words, all done, let's go. Put your suit on, shake a leg. Last one in is a rotten egg. Goggles, swimmies, masks, and fins, Bucket shovels, fun begins. Everyone looks excited to go to the beach. Breathe salt air. Breathe it in. Let's pretend we're at the beach and we can smell the salt air. Squint at the sun. Hot foot hopping, squeal and run. Marco Polo dives and dunks, body surfing, floating trunks. Castles rise, moats are filled. Stacking, smoothing, smash, refilled. All right, so I wanna go back to the word moats, okay? That is our vocabulary word today, okay? So what a moat pretty much is, I'm gonna actually show you a picture is when there is water. You see here, all of this water. It's when a body of water is pretty much around something like a castle or a town. And they usually have built, build a castle or a town around the water um, because they're trying to keep people out, okay? So this is a picture of a castle from a long, long time ago. And you see how the water goes around it, okay? So that's pretty much what a moat is. Really pretty, right? Okay. So we're gonna go back. All right. So moat. It's when there's water around a castle or a town or some kind of building. Okay. Clam digging, crab chasing, flying kites, barefoot racing. Hungry tummies, sun-kissed knees, salty skin, 
chilly breeze. Running water, rising moon, warm and weary, towel cocoon. Tan limbs tangle, snuggled tight, rosy noses kiss the night. Looks like everybody's tired and ready for bed. Ocean hushes, palm trees sway. Tomorrow's just a sleep away. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, being that the title is Beach House and the story was pretty much about a family that went away to the beach house, uh, I want you guys to see if you guys can draw me a picture. Uh, think of a time that you guys maybe took a trip to the beach, uh, whether you got on an airplane and went somewhere to go to the beach, uh, or whether you just hopped in the car or the train and, and took a ride down to the beach. Um, tell me about it. I want to know what you guys did. What did you see? Um, and if you haven't been to the beach, it's okay. I want you to still draw me a picture and tell me what you think you would see if you went to the beach. Or if you could go to the beach, what would you do? What would you want to do? Um, like in the story, the kids did a lot. They made castles. They flew kites. They jumped in the water. They went swimming. They even ate on the beach. So tell me a story, okay guys? I look forward to seeing your pictures. Um, have mommy and daddy send it to me when you guys finish. Um, so you can take a picture with your picture <laughs> and send it to Miss Yvette. Or you can send me a video saying hello and telling me yourself all about your picture. So remember, once you draw your picture, have mommy or daddy write down what exactly what you said, okay? I hope you guys are doing great, miss you, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll see each other soon. All right guys, take care, bye.